What's up everyone, today in Orlando at Star Wars Celebration they just had the Last Jedi panel and they showed the trailer and if you didn't get a chance to catch the live stream, we learned a bit about the Last Jedi and we are going to get into it. There will be spoilers in this video so there is your spoiler warning. The Last Jedi is currently in post-production, but Ryan Johnson says that they are very far along in the process. Kathleen Kennedy gave Ryan Johnson some very kind words and saying that he is on his way to being one of the greatest filmmakers that she has ever been able to work with. Also, noting that he writes very fierce and independent women. Ryan talked about shooting in Pinewood because Star Wars has a long relationship with shooting movies at Pinewood, and he also talked about shooting in Ireland. They showed a ton of behind the scenes shots that Ryan Johnson shot with his personal camera while filming, and there are a lot of them, so I'm just going to play a little slideshow and show them all to you guys. After they showed these photos, Ryan talked about what it was like to work with Carrie Fisher, and they showed us these images of Carrie on The Last Jedi, and Ryan talked about what an exceptional person and what a talent she was. Daisy was also able to tell us a bit about The Last Jedi when they brought her out. Daisy says that The Last Jedi will go deeper into Rey's story, and that she says when meeting her heroes, they might be different than she had originally thought. I'm assuming that this is referring to Luke holding the fall of the Jedi and Kylo Ren's turn to the dark side on his shoulders. Daisy is most excited to hear Luke's first words in The Last Jedi, and after that they brought out BB-8, and he rolled on out and everyone went nuts for a good 15 seconds. Ryan told us that there are new things that we can expect to see from BB-8 and The Last Jedi. In The Force Awakens we saw BB-8 give a thumbs up, and now we can expect some new tricks from BB-8 and The Last Jedi. After BB-8, they brought John Boyega out on stage. John says Finn will be recovered in The Last Jedi from his injury, which we already knew, but John said Finn will not be playing around this time. John also told us that Finn and Poe's relationship will continue to blossom in The Last Jedi and that they will be going on a new adventure. John says that Finn is going to be facing a test in The Last Jedi as to whether he wants to commit to the Resistance or keep running from the First Order. In regards to the First Order, Ryan Johnson tells us that the First Order isn't wasting time in The Last Jedi, and Ryan says we can see them putting in a lot of hard work straight from the beginning of the film after the destruction of Starkiller Base. Ryan told us that these new characters will be featured in the new movie. Ryan says that the newest character with the biggest part in the new film is Kelly Marie Tran's character. They brought her out on stage, and she revealed to us that her character's name is Rose. She is part of the Resistance, and she works in maintenance. Her character isn't a soldier, according to Ryan Johnson. She isn't looking to be a hero, but she gets pulled into an adventure with Finn. Next, they brought out Mark Hamill, and they showed us a new picture of Luke. Someone shouted out, I love you, Mark, and he shouted out, I love you back. Mark was clearly having a lot of fun up on stage and making a lot of jokes. Mark was paying Ryan a lot of respect in regards to his work and his filmmaking. Mark says that Ryan is now among the top of his all-time favorite directors, and that he devoted his performance to the eyes of Ryan Johnson. Mark tells us that Luke is obviously a hermit at the end of The Force Awakens, and he tells us that there is a lot of mystery that surrounds his character, and that there were a few things that are alluded to in The Force Awakens about it. While Mark is really downplaying Luke here, Kathleen interrupted him to tell everyone in attendance and watching the livestream that Luke plays a very significant part of this next film. Then they showed us the first teaser poster for The Last Jedi and my goodness does it look freaking awesome. I'm just going to let this soak in for a second. Then they showed the trailer and oh my gosh I went nuts and when you see it I'm sure you will too and it should be up live here within the next couple of hours. I'm going to do a breakdown of that, so be sure to stay tuned and subscribe if you want to check that out. But that wraps things up for me here in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got a chance to catch the live stream. If you did and you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.